should be okay. Okay, we on. We already are, aren't we? All right. So this is just going to be in um, freestyle or poster, whatever you want to call it. Um, this was originally designed. Oh, glasses everywhere. This was originally designed poster style. Was originally designed because obviously when you done posters, they were laying flat, and the idea was it was to just to follow the way your hand worked, which is why it was always a slight curve like this. Obviously, left-handed people they had a slightly different style. Um, and that's basically what it was really done for, was just for doing posters, something quick and simple. And there's a basic style to it, and everybody just adapted it to suit themselves, really. And it does depend on if you have a good brush. That's the main thing. Having a nice brush that would actually flick. Obviously, this one's not. This one's a bit too blocky, so you have to make sure you sort of go back over the corners a little bit. It's quite a nice sort of uh, style to do. It is quite quick. You are doing both sides of the line normally at once, which makes it a bit quicker. But so it does help to have a, a nice brush as well. Sometimes you have to uh, work your brush. So this one's a bit too short, a bit too thick. It's probably good for a very on poster paper because poster paper is quite rough and it does uh, wear your brushes out, but it also gets them into shape as well. So it tends to thin them out a little bit. So that's one good thing about doing posters. So we are making, going to make this sign look a bit old. We might even, um, once we've finished it, I'll get an airbrush around and add a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a bit of weathering around the outsides to make it look a bit older. Obviously to mark out the board, we've just used a, a china graph. Which is okay until it gets really hot and then they get a little bit on the soft side. Be able to recognise another person's sign writing by their freestyle back in the old days. Makes me sound old now. And so it is a bit of a cheating style, really, because so it's just quick and easy, and no one looks at too close at it. It's always a style used on garages and things like that because they never want to spend too much money on their signs. And as I say, this was just a very quick do as much sign writing now so therefore the brushes are well we don't tend to have I don't know I suppose the brushes we used to have and the old ones are getting a little bit gritty now and so everyone seems to want vinyl stickers these days which we don't do and don't want to do Check to make sure it's spelled right. <laughs> oh, some hay fever, I think, going on. A lot of overgrown bushes and things around. I 
So for those of you again have not seen me before, this finger is not a natural sign writing style. It's just uh, hands a bit smashed up with uh, various solid bits of knuckles now and metal plates in your hand. So this one doesn't bend so it tends to get in the way a lot of the time. So it's just constantly sticking up. But at least it still works. Just. And for those of you who are starting outside writing, who are writing on plastic boards and things like that, it is so much nicer to write on a piece of plywood that's been painted. I don't know why, it just has a different feel, a different texture, it's just, uh, it's just nicer. Some might say that's not a word, but it is much, it is much better. And obviously with the plastic as well, you tend to get a lot of static, which doesn't help, because that just pulls the paint off the brush and causes all sorts of problems. Definitely how the brush is influences how your freehand style is. The better the brush, the smoother, and the more character you have in your style. But when you have to work a brush, then obviously it takes a lot of the flair out of your style. I say I like I don't know how people really manage to just work out of a pot um, I know some people do and they seem to be fine but for me I like to use a palette so I can organize my brush and get just the right amount of paint on it rather than just tapping on the side of a container um, but I say everyone's develops their own way of doing things but for me, for me, no, it doesn't work. Well, I'm just going to get this little mechanic little hand and the spanner out of the way because we're waiting for this to dry because we want to put the Andrews to go slightly over the top of the G. Um, and I've exaggerated the thumb because our friend's a mechanic and he's for the sign and he's been a mechanic for many years and his thumb actually does curl right the way back on itself so I'm sort of going to exaggerate it a little bit I'm just sort of making this up as I go along really so. Is if you do something you don't like it, you can always start again. That's the one good thing. You think it's something that looks strange? You want glasses on. That's better. I can see what I'm doing and perhaps I'll put the other glasses back on. always look at your own hand as a bit of a reference if you're trying to work out where things go but if you get stuck at the end of the day so you 
cartoony type hand. A lot of the times, uh, most cartoons only have uh, three fingers. I'll probably add a little bit of white around it as well. A bit of white inside it. Just give it a bit more colour. 